Hello guys, welcome to yet another short video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are going to talk about the latest developments at Starbase, updates on NASA's Artemis 1 mission, and the Cygnus cargo mission. Yesterday, SpaceX removed Starship S-24 from the top of Booster 7 and transferred it to a transport stand placed next to the orbital launch mount. This was expected as I said in my last video. The next test in the line will be surely the static fire of Booster 7. But SpaceX is in no hurry. They want to protect everything under the rocket including the tower. Can you imagine the magnitude of heat and flames that will be released by the 33 engines? Shielding works on the OLM itself are ongoing. A few days ago, RGV aerial photography spotted what could be the cladding for the orbital launch integrated tower. These cladding are similar to the ones we see on the tower at Pad 39A in Florida. So, before we see the static fire test, these protective shielding works are expected to complete first. We have to keep an eye on the road closure schedules and overpressure notices for possible static fire testing. Starship S-25 after a few cryogenic tests was moved out of the launch site and rolled back to the high bay back at the production site. Will Starship S-25 get its six Raptor engines or is it another Pathfinder for a newer Starship? It will be interesting to find out in the coming days. Before facing the challenge of defying gravity and leaving the surface of the Earth, NASA's $4.1 billion SLS rocket is ready to face tropical storm, Nicole. The storm is expected to make landfall in eastern Florida tonight as a Category 1 hurricane. NASA has officially announced that the launch attempt of the Artemis 1 mission has been delayed until November 16, as the safety of the staff and engineers come first. The launch attempt has been moved to Wednesday next week waiting for the storm to pass. It was too late for NASA to roll back the multi-billion dollar rocket to the vehicle assembly building, so NASA decided to keep the rocket at the pad instead. When the storm passes, there will be checks and inspections on the structural integrity of the rocket. So, is there a possibility of a further delay to the moon program? Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft has been successfully captured using the robotic arm on the International Space Station. This mission was Northrop Grumman's 18th commercial resupply mission to the ISS. The spacecraft arrived at the space station safely at 5.20 a.m. EST after one of the two solar arrays failed to deploy. The Cygnus spacecraft was launched on Monday atop an Antares rocket from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. Well, that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.